Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good night to each and every one of you. I hope you had a wonderful day today. The mood to cook up a little bit of a storm here and I would like to share what I made for dinner today. I hope you guys like as well. So I have some mashed potatoes. I have some sauteed bell peppers. I have here the beet that I made earlier. And I have here some nice, delicious green beans prepared with some butter, garlic, and black pepper and salt. I'll show you all how I prepare it. And I prepared some red snapper in the oven. Check that out. It is looking delicious. And everybody's going to have one because they have a beautiful individual size here. And I can't wait to dig in and let you all know how this tastes. So stick around and let's cook all this food together. Natalie already peeled and washed the potatoes. I'm gonna put them to boil and then we will start the magic for the potatoes. Those are done. While it's still hot, I'm gonna go in with some butter. Butter is a must for mashed potato. I like to add sour cream into mine. And I will go in with my sour cream. So you can add according to the batch that you are making. Just average and taste as you go along and you will end up with the right amount. I'm gonna go in with some mayonnaise, about two heaping tablespoon. I like to add a little bit of milk and it will make it very nice and smooth. So just about a quarter cup of milk is all it takes. And hubby is gonna go in with his strong muscle arms and give this a good mash for us. To go with our mashed potatoes today, I'm preparing some red snapper. I'm gonna cook them in the oven. I have here some cilantro, broad thyme, pepper, garlic, fine thyme, green onion. I'm gonna throw all this into my blender, blend it up nicely and season that red snapper. <laughs> So I have my red snapper here nicely washed and I already scored them. I am so happy that I bought them because they were already gutted and they were already scaled. I only had to cut the fins off and wash them clean. So I'm very happy about that. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'll add some salt to the fish. I already add salt on the other side. I'm just going to add some black pepper. And these are perfect to fry whole as it is or to bake them. And today I'm going to cook them in my oven. I'm going in with some red chili powder because it's going to add a little bit of heat and a nice color. And then we're going to go in and add some green seasoning. So I just blended up all that goodness. And I want to go in with my hands and really, really massage the fish with this goodness. So I score little slices here, but I'm going to work that seasoning in. I already add black pepper, salt, and red chili on the other side. We're going to go in for the inside and make sure that we have seasoning in the inside to flavor up the fish in and out. And then I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to turn these babies over. And we will do the same here with the green seasoning. And I, you guys see what I added in my green seasoning. It was thyme, fine thyme, broad thyme, some pepper, cilantro, and garlic and green onion. So look how nice this is. It's beautiful. I'm going to put this in a baking dish. My oven is ready and we'll cook these until they crisp up a little. So I just brushed the bottom of the baking dish with some oil to avoid any sticking. I'm going to put this in my 350 degree oven until they are nice and brown or crisp up a little. And then I will show you the finished product. 
So I just added my green beans to the pan with some butter. I'm gonna go in with some salt, some black pepper, and I'm gonna add some garlic powder. You can add fresh grated garlic, but I am using some garlic powder because I am trying to finish up this quickly. I'm gonna add just a little pinch of water to help these beans just to change cook and change the color to a brighter green and then this will be ready I don't normally cook them too much I like to cook them with a crumb after preparing the green beans I'm just gonna saute the peppers with a little bit of garlic powder salt and black pepper same as the green beans this just need like a minute and a half or so and dinner will be ready. So the fish are done cooking. They are sizzling hot. Look at that. And I'm going to serve up. Let me show you what I have for the spree tonight. So here is that beautiful dinner. The kids said it tastes like restaurant food. So I'm going to go in for some of the mashed potatoes. So nice, rich, and creamy. And I'm gonna try these peppers, the green beans together. And you can hear, guys, they are still crunchy, and that's how I like them. Mm -mm -mm. Butter makes everything better. This is the beet. And this is a well-balanced plate. Nice vegetable, protein, and some nice mashed potato. We're gonna go in for that fish there now, the red snapper, and you hear how crunchy the head is. I'm gonna get a piece out here. It's very, very hot at the moment. And I'm gonna go in for some potato with mine. I want to make sure I get those bones away. Cheers. Mm, 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 mm. What a nice, delicious, satisfying meal. The fish is well seasoned. Mm. Once you start eating, you don't want to stop. So because I have to take my time with the bones, I'm going to sit down and enjoy this plate. I hope you guys give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing soon. Until then, we want to say stay blessed, stay safe. We love you all. I'm going to take mouthful for everyone. Bye for now.